Well, hi, and welcome to PJs with PJ, Pajama Talks with Pastor Jeannie. I am Pastor Jeannie Sortland, and I serve the United Methodist Congregations of Kensal and Wimbledon, North Dakota. And I've been wanting to speak to you now for two days. Two days since I was in the middle of writing a congregational letter to update you as to what is happening as far as um, when we return to in-person worship and some other details. And I was actually writing about Epiphany when I started getting all these messages. Are you watching the news? Can you see what's going on? And as I turned on the news and saw people storming the capital of the United States, my heart was heavy. Because if you are happy and content and at peace and have deep-seated joy, you don't do things like storm the capital. You might protest peacefully, I am all in support of that. However, I do have to condemn the acts of what happened on Wednesday. Just as I condemn the harm to people and businesses that happened this summer. I'm all in support of peaceful protests. That is how we communicate. But as I was in the middle of writing about epiphany, I think we've had an epiphany, a revelation. That's what epiphany means in the United States of America. We have a lot of people that are discontented, that are hurting, that are not happy, that are frustrated and angry. And I've done enough study about fear to know that that is probably the root of our problems here on either side. And please don't take this political, politically char as politically charged. I am such a centrist. Um, <laughs> you know, I always say I don't fit anywhere. So people that are conservative, they think I'm liberal, liberal and people that are liberal think I'm conservative. Um, but I think, you know, this summer's protests were about fear of not being treated with equality, of um, being judged more harshly um, because of the color of your skin, and a lot of other underlying things. And the protests on Wednesday, I think our fear of losing our liberty, our way of life, um, maybe even economic status. I hope that's not the root of it, but you know, we do, we do have these fears and that turns into frustration when things aren't going the way we think they are. And part of that is ego. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you all think about Freud, but our ego is pretty important. We believe what we think is right is right. And so anybody else that doesn't agree with that is wrong. And so when our ego isn't fulfilled, we get frustrated. And frustration eventually breeds anger. 
And I think that's where we're at. I think we have so many hurting people, so many people worried that maybe we're not going to be a democracy anymore. You know, that we're going to move into socialism or communism. And how do we look at this as Christians? It pains me that the Christian flag was flying with people that were heavily armed and that were disregarding boundaries. And that are claiming this is Regaining control of America for God. All I know is that Jesus came to bring peace. And what keeps coming back to me, and it's interesting because I do this um, soul fill-up time that the Dakotas Conference provides for us clergy. Um, and it started during this pandemic because it is a stressful time. But we talked about the Beatitudes. And Matthew 5, chapter 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers. I keep coming back to that. And now I don't disagree with everything that President Trump and his administration tried to do. In fact, a lot of it, I think, was clouded by a biased media. But yet, his rhetoric the whole time of his term of leadership. I think leaders, whether it's government or religious, have a moral and ethical obligation to try to strive for peace. And I really don't feel that President Trump has been working for peace. And I try to give him grace because when everybody's against you, it, you start to react. But blessed are the peacemakers. And I've got a lot of things that I would like to talk about with fear and um, ego and frustration and leading to anger. Because I think we are, so many are hurting. So many of us watched on Wednesday and felt like it was a picture of eroding democracy. And you know what? Whether we are, it, it doesn't matter what kind of social system we are under, what kind of governmental system, who is our leader? really our peace and joy and hope comes from Jesus Christ. But I'm not going to just be complacent and say, oh, Jesus, we just need to pray and focus on Jesus. Because I do think we're called to action. I don't think we're just supposed to sit around and do nothing right now. I think we're supposed to have conversations with people that don't agree with us politically. Like not Facebook conversations, not social media, like call you up on the phone, let's go have coffee. Or even on the phone. The phone is not so bad. Um, email, anything that that's text is not good. We don't communicate well with that. So yeah, so I'm kind of contemplating doing a, a series. I want to call it Fear and Loathing. <laughs> um, because I read something about contempt. 
and that most of us have contempt for people that don't agree with us. And that's been happening since the very beginning of humanity. But that is what Jesus came to change. So yeah, so my heart's heavy. I'm disappointed in our leadership. I think there could have been more peace and we could have avoided loss of life. But I also understand, you know, when you feel like everything's against you and you're so frustrated you don't know what to do. So we need to pray. And we need to ask God, what exactly is the call for me? Not everybody else. God, what are you asking me to do? Because God has a call for each one of us. And I really do think that we are called to be peacemakers. And that we are called to take action to facilitate good in this world, in our country. And so let's work together. Let's try to heal the hurts. Let's try to love each other with that agape love that only can happen because of Jesus Christ. And let's realize that we're not all going to agree. But let's have some conversations and figure out what we agree on and then go from there. So anyway, this is way longer than I normally like to talk on PJs. Um, but I just thought I should share my heart, share where I'm at. I think the best is yet to come. I really do. I, I think God is doing a new thing. Um, that's a verse in Isaiah. And so let us take part in doing God's new thing in the United States of America. God bless you all. Stay safe. Reach out to each other. And above all else, love one another. Goodbye.